All right, it's uh, Friday morning, uh, June 21st. It's a beautiful sunny day, and I'm just hitting the road to go pick up Amy, meet up with Daryl, and then hit the road to Kelowna and points beyond. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, Mike here, and we are waiting in line for the ferry somewhere down there. Uh, what ferry, you might ask? The Upper Arrows Lake Ferry. And He's somewhere back there. Can we see him? There he is. All right, and where's the rest of the gang? They're coming. Where to come? together there Mike. <laughs> what? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna shoot like that. Mike, your wife is gonna be so proud of you. Look what you made. Look what you did. I hit a rock. Mike and Amy here, Hi. exploring, and we found this.
Okay, here's the situation. It's almost 11 at night. There is some creepy guy that is camping over a couple areas. And uh, across the road, I was hearing some noises that might or might not be campers. I think might be a bear. And Patrick saw eyes coming out of the bush which would not have been the campers. So we're pretty sure we're surrounded by a crazy person and there's secrets in our games. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is Saturday morning. Uh, we're still at our site, keeping my eyes open for any wildlife like bears. Uh, we got a day of investigating and night of investigating and uh, hopefully we can find something here you never know so Boardwalk here. expected to live much longer and, and it, he got cut short and and same with his book he had, there were many stories that, that he probably hadn't written all yet you know random pieces of paper with with these so she finished stories. it off yeah okay what they did is there it's all slab wood waste, yeah. waste wood um, they needed to extend the carriage on the mill at some point. Maybe they were cutting extremely long timbers for, for the railway or something. And, and so they used it as landfill. And then the sawmill was all dismantled and taken away in about 1905. Sound like, <clears throat> pardon me, it didn't sound like the sign. We're being locked in. Oh, last one. Hello. 
Kane. Do you know Helen Kane? I want to be bad. Hey everybody, Mike here. Uh, I'm just waiting for Daryl to come back with the key for uh, the Silver Smith Powerhouse. Uh, for those that are not uh, familiar with what the Powerhouse is, uh, this is the oldest currently operating, uh, independently owned and operated Powerhouse or Power Station in all of Canada now. Um, it was also the first one in British Columbia. Uh, and fun fact, the uh, coils inside were designed by Nikola Tesla, which is pretty cool. Um, so once Daryl comes back, we're going to do a ghost box or spirit box uh, inside because it's pretty noisy in there. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll see what we find. More to come. Say hello, YouTube. We are, uh, we are, uh, friends of Hal and Vita. We just met them. Hal is a fantastic guy. Uh, he was up here with us earlier. Uh, we heard that you trained him. All right, Mike here. I'm in the uh, city hall. Daryl's is upstairs talking to the ladies. Uh, we're going to do a, a spirit box downstairs in the, in the first floor. I'm on the second floor. Um, earlier we heard a loud bang come from on this side behind me. Um, no explanation for it. So I guess we'll see if there's anything on our uh, trail cams we set up earlier, but interesting. And I do have this uh, mannequin in the window here that they like to put out there. So yeah, it's been a very interesting day of investigating. So maybe another hour or two left and That'll be it for us. As I said before, more to go. How many paranormal investigators does it take to put up a tent? Some pictures of her. Trick, trick. <laughs> We're gonna trace on the back of from out front too. You gotta get near the window where we can see you, Jay. Hey. <laughs> we can't see you. We can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>